Hey you, it's Janet Kaliri, founder of Visible Transitions, helping you go from overwhelmed to overjoyed, one photo at a time. Using curiosity and a smartphone camera. And feeling the joy during chaos is essential to our healing to our thriving, to our success, to our stress, to managing all of life well, to managing our relationships, our family, our jobs, our businesses, our community. Feeling the joy, feeling expansive is essential. And I know that you can do it because I'm doing it right now in the middle of a six month health crisis with the backdrop of corona apocalypse. And the corona apocalypse is the word that I've termed. It is the unveiling of the truth. The, the COVID-19 has swept in and we're seeing the dismantling of all the immature, unworkable systems like justice, medicine, education, politics and more and i believe we're not coming out of this transition soon and that there's more to dismantle and more to deal with unpleasant and pleasant therefore why not learn a couple of simple tools that can help you feel joy in the midst of the chaos this is life and life is the workshop. And when we attempt to have it go away and stop and get back to normal, we're actually creating more resistance. So I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. Uh, part of my health issue is a brain injury that is uh, resulting in sensitivity to screens and light. So speaking of feeling joy in the middle of chaos, I thought that I would make my visual and brain impairments fun by um, having a whole bunch of different colored sunglasses and, and inviting people to wear their sunglasses when they're in my classes or in coaching sessions or doing their own thing. The play, the childlike wonder, super important for bringing the joy. The joy comes from within, it's not from external circumstances. And given external circumstances are uh, feeling pretty crappy right now, I would say that what I'm about to share is, is important and simple for you to take on and practice. And again, you know, don't, don't believe a word that I say. Take this information and practice experiment on your own and let me know what happens let let me know how your life changes i can guarantee you that your life will change in a more favorable way if you practice what i'm about to share and uh okay so it's july in june in january I had a couple of accidents and caused a couple of concussions. So I have a traumatic brain injury. And again, I'm not 100% out of the woods. There's lots going on. So I have a lot of uncertainty around my health, mostly with my own business, visible transitions. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be back generating the money I was generating when I was at full capacity. So there's a lot of uncertainty for me, and yet my joy level is a 10. If we look at the scale from one to 10, one being the least, 10 being the most, I can confidently tell you that my joy level is a 10. And <clears throat> it's been quite high over the last six, six months. And if you're interested in feeling joy in the middle of a, uh, may, maybe you have a health crisis or somebody you know is actually 
having a health crisis, maybe connected to, to COVID-19 as well. Um, try this on. So in March, I was ready to give up. I was, this was before the shelter in grace, the shelter in peace, where I had all of my helpers here and then suddenly they disappeared due to the shelter in peace. So uh, before that happened, I was at a place where I was done. I wanted to check out and I asked the question and you can learn more about the question in my other video that says, uh, that's entitled, this is the question we should all be asking. And uh, so I ask a question, the curiosity, and the question was, what is option three? What is option three? There must be an option three. There must be an option three. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Asking that question in which I got no direct answer or immediate answer, that led me to zero resistance. Why is zero resistance important? Zero resistance gives us access to our intuition, to our inner knowing. It gives us access to solutions and ideas. It gives us access to peace and calm and compassion. It also gives us access to conviction. What I noticed was that I had no conviction. Me, Italian, Irish, Bostonian. I lost my conviction. I was really scared. I was so scared when I realized I had no conviction to live. So the zero resistance helped me to plug into my conviction. Also, what helped me plug into my conviction was a difficult conversation I had back in, Jan in, Jan in January with a friend regarding my health crisis. And this conviction helped me develop self-trust, trusting my inner knowing, that gut. Trusting your inner knowing is essential right now. Essential. How, how do we interweave the new way, the new paradigm, well, the old one is dissolving and we're moving towards something new. How do we stay aligned with who we truly are? Well, trusting our inner knowing, trusting that inner knowing. That also in turn develops self-governance. Self-governing is crucial right now, crucial. I mean, it always is, but right now, okay? We are being called and invited to write, to rewrite the script, to rewrite the story of our lives, personally and collectively, together, a co-creation. And that can be done only with that pause and curiosity from a place of conviction, not resistance from a place of trusting our inner knowing, from a place of self-governance, not the government, not the government, not being in the victim mentality, not feeling victimized, stepping into the conviction and the self-governance, rewriting our story together, it's gonna start here. This all leads to healing, healing of health issues, systemic racism, medicine as a business, government as a patriarchal controlling system, which it was never meant to be. If you read up on John Locke, or you can ask me for my paper, the, go the government, as far as I understand it from my studies, was meant to be a support system for our self-governing. 
that self-governing is the foremost essential quality and value for each and every one of us, both personally and collectively. The government was meant to be a team of people upon which we could receive some support, some guidance. And along the line, our self-governance disappeared. And th th this is a general statement. I'm not saying every single person has lost their self-governance. Okay, so this leads to the healing of those systems. It leads to feeling joy in the chaos, literally feeling joy, not a scale of one to 10, one being the least, 10 being the most. What is the number of your joy right now? What is the number, le the level of your joy in the last couple of weeks, in the last few months? And where would you like it to be? Because you can get there. You can create it for yourself. Do not rely on external circumstances to change. Can you see the opportunity? Can you see the invitation, the blessing, the gift that we have right now? I am stoked. I am stoked. I am in a health crisis. I've got to move out of my place by the end of this month. I still don't know where I'm going. I don't have my regular income and I am stoked. Absolutely stoked. Okay, so this joy, this conviction is leading to my new home. Okay, the body is our home. It's our housing. I have, I have a whole new body, a whole new house. My numbers are looking really good right now. Thank you to Dr. Amy Schaus. They were looking really horrible in January. And I want to tell you one thing is that I am no longer pre-diabetic. And being a pre-diabetic is really being a diabetic, the type 2, which many of Americans are moving towards or are <clears throat> suffering from. Oh my God, and that's based on our food and the farming and the pollution and so on. And eating emotionally. Okay, my numbers are looking great. I have worked my butt off to get my numbers looking great to no longer being pre-diabetic. I have worked so hard and it's all worth it. Now, Again, the question, what is option three, <clears throat> can lead you to the joy. It will lead you to the conviction, the zero resistance, trusting your inner knowing, claiming your self-governance, leading to all of us co-creating a new story, a new existence. And in all of this, feeling relative ease and joy, humor, having easy access to your sense of humor, and humility, de de developing more humility. I know, I know I have. And patience. So again, you know, if you're someone who wants this to be over with, you're literally creating stress and anxiety. You're literally creating that resistance. You're not helping yourself, okay? Sure, it's uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable, not it's uncomfortable. That's external. I, I feel uncomfortable. I have felt extremely uncomfortable for the last almost six and a half months. And yet, if I resisted that discomfort, I would not be where I am today. I mean, I would say that I'm thriving right now, despite my circumstances. And I want you to have it too, if you would like to have it. And again, don't believe a word that I say. OK, 
connect with me and I will show you my signature neutrality practice. I will walk you through this question, this option, what is option three? I will walk you through how to ask it, when to ask it, what to look for, what to hear. And you will see and feel the magic. You'll start to feel like a magician and watch your life unfold in magical ways. I'm really, I am like, I, I am astounded at what is happening for me in my life. And can you, can you see how this question and the zero resistance and the conviction and the trusting the inner knowing and the self governance can lead to the feeling of the joy, the expansiveness that can lead to the healing of so many systems that no longer work. I hope you can see that. I hope you can connect the dots. So comment below, get in touch with me. I would love to help you out. All right, so I'm gonna leave you with this question without projection question with intention, question without assumption, and question with illumination. Good to be with you. See you soon. Bye for now.